Ross runs around with his little brother Adam's glove. He throws it outside in the snow, and as Adam walks out to get it, Ross locks him out. Because of this, an angry Adam picks up a hammer and smashes the glass. Ross is frightened and runs away, and boss brother Adam now walks inside to unleash his wrath. Years later, Adam enters the office, and he is on his phone making a sales deal with a client. Adam works for the mortgage sales department, and he finds that he is late to the meeting. Either way, he closes his deal, and when he enters the meeting hall, his his boss Mickey mentions don't chase money, become an expert and the money will chase you, otherwise you will be late to sales meetings. That evening, Adam and his colleagues have a drink and he tells them that Mickey appreciated him for closing the deal and Nick questions Adam about why he was chasing after the deal worth only $70,000. Adam then reveals that even though the client closed the deal for only $70,000, her boss is looking for $3 million in homes. Sometime later, Trent mentions that he saw one of their old buddies riding a Lamborghini, and he started a business separately siphoning off his old clients from work. Adam feels bad about hearing this, and at this time, a lady working there catches Adam's eye. He approaches her smoothly, and she leaves him with a note. He learns that she only wrote her name, Christine. The next day, Adam rides with his dog, Alex, and notices Christine across the road. He uses Alex to have a casual jump in to bump into her, and he follows her inside the coffee shop. He tries to start a conversation with her, and gets the okay to walk along with her. He introduces his dog Alex to her, and introduces himself too. They start walking and it doesn't take long for Adam to figure out that Christine is heading to work. But before she heads in, he insists on getting her number. Christine, hesitant at first, gives in to his attempts and gives her number. They start seeing each other, and they even do physical together. A month later, Mickey calls in Adam to the office, where Adam learns that the sales director, Frank, has been fired for forging the paperwork. Mickey asks Adam not to be nervous and lets him know that he wants Adam to be Frank's replacement. Adam is speechless to hear the news, and after Mickey leaves, Adam sits down to enjoy the view from his new office. Adam throws a party at a lake house, and he learns that his brother Ross just lost his job. He tells him to cheer up and calls the boys out to announce his promotion as director, and his buddy Trent will be the right-hand man. He falls back, only to give Christine a scare. Adam then takes Ross and asks him to come work for him, and he will let him do whatever he wants if he closes deals, but Ross refuses, stating that he couldn't even negotiate to keep his own dog when his girlfriend left him. Soon, Adam takes his coat off, and he jumps into the lake. We hear a popping sound as he jumps, and we see Adam floating on the water. Alex jumps in along, and the others soon notice something is not right. Adam is taken to the hospital, and his parents, Jerry and Arlene, are worried, since Adam hasn't woken up. A few days later, Adam finally comes back, and they are happy to see him open his eyes. Before anything, Adam asks Ross whether Christine is here, but the doctor comes in before Ross answers him. The doctor lets them know that when Adam jumped, his neck snapped forward and his vertebrae shattered. She continues to mention that Adam will get sense in his arms soon, but he will be paralyzed for life. Christine, who happens to visit, hears everything standing outside. The family breaks down, and Christine, too, leaves running after hearing the news. Some days later, Adam is trying to use the wrapped fork to eat, but he cannot use it, so he asks asks for a normal one, but he struggles even more, and ends up pushing the food aside. Later, he is taken to a meeting where the other paralyzed people share their stories. Adam doesn't take this well, and takes it out on Lucky, the guy who is leading the group. Lucky understands him, and even though he himself feels hostile towards Adam, he takes out a balloon, and they start a little game. The routine continues, and Adam goes through physiotherapy, and he sees Lucky helping the others use their hands. Time flies, and six months later, Christine finally comes to meet Adam. She apologizes, since she doesn't know how to handle situations like this. Adam feels like they can figure it out, and he tells her that he will be okay soon. He tries to take her hand, but Christine starts tearing up and leaves. Soon, Adam is taken back home, and the family is ready to welcome him. But Adam can feel the awkward atmosphere. As Adam is taken inside, his dog Alex runs away after seeing him. Arlene helps him take a bath, and Adam lets her know that he feels like a pillow just lying there. She tries to cheer him up and calls Ross and Jerry to take him out. As they talk about taking him out, Adam yells to leave him there. That night, Adam finally apologizes to them, but they don't answer. Soon, a big guy comes in and enters the bath to pick Adam up. Soon, the guy manages to dress him up and brings Adam to the dinner table. Seeing Adam struggle to eat, Arlene tries feeding him, but Jerry leaves angry because of Adam's attitude. The next day, Susan from Nurture Care wakes Adam up and starts talking about herself, but Adam just asks her to get out. Jerry 
Harry fixes a basketball net in his room to cheer Adam and asks him to give it a throw. He tries and misses, and Alex takes the ball and runs off. When Jerry gets back, Adam gets a call from Mickey. Jerry tells him to answer, but Adam does not take it. The next day, a Russian lady named Yevgenia comes from the nurture care, but Adam asks her to leave as well. But she tells him that if she leaves, how will he get up and get dressed? She also tells him that he cannot fire her, and instead she quits. Hearing this, Adam gets taken aback and asks her not to leave. She says it was a joke and starts talking some sense into him. She also brings in her husband Sasha to help with some things in the house. She pushes Adam to start doing things himself and makes him realize that he can do it if he tries. Arlene is happy to see Adam changing, and some days later, Yevgenia asks Adam if he has a girlfriend. Adam says that he had one, but she left him, and even if he had one, what would he do with her? Yevgenia lets him know that Sasha is her second husband, and the first guy was big and handsome, but he did not treat her well. But Sasha is kind and makes her feel. She lets him know that if he does that, he can make his woman feel too. Yevgenia also mentions that the right woman will know what to do if the man cannot move. She gives Adam a DVD with a Russian name and leaves. Adam puts it on to see a woman and a paralyzed man performing. As he starts watching it, Ross comes in to sit along and asks Adam for some cash. Adam tells him that he can't since he has hospital expenses and no income. But Ross tells him that he can start working since all he does is close deals on his phone. Adam yells at him, and as Ross apologizes, Adam asks Ross to take him out for a drink. At the bar, they chat about old time and soon a girl approaches Adam, mentioning that she loves men on wheels. Ross goes to get them drinks, and as she sits on Adam, he feels something wrong with himself. He tells her to get off and calls Ross to get him out. Adam tells Ross to take his pants off since he is shitting himself. He asks Ross to take him off the chair and take him aside. Adam cries, mentioning how his life has changed from being a successful salesman with a hot girlfriend to shit himself in a parking lot unable to move. Ross takes him back home, and he feels sad for his brother. The next day, Yevgenia tells Adam a story about how, back in Siberia, she used to care for a goat, and she even named it Misha and treated it like a friend. But when the winter came, she killed it herself because of hunger. She tells him that the choice we make makes us the victim or the survivor. Hearing this, Adam changes his mind and decides to change. He wants to drive, but Yevgenia says it won't work. She calls for the customized car, and Adam is surprised to see that the one who came driving it is Lucky. Ross joins them too, and Lucky drives them around teaching Adam how the custom car works. After this, when they come back home, Adam tells Ross that he will give him the money. Ross refuses, but Adam tells him that he has decided to get back to work. The next day, Adam drives to meet Trent and Nick, who are working separately by siphoning their old clients. Trent asks Adam when he will start, but Adam says that this is all wrong and declines to join. Adam then takes a stroll in the city and heads to the coffee shop to see Christine, only to find her with another guy. She notices Adam, but Adam leaves heartbroken. He goes back to get his car, but the door gets stuck. Failing to get it out, Adam decides to go back on his own wheels. He rides across the city and soon runs around searching for a charging port since the battery of his chair starts running low. He struggles to plug it in, and as he does it, he gets a call from Yevgenia but decides not to answer. Adam rides all day and somehow reaches home by night. He finds Yevgenia waiting for him, and before she starts with how worried she was, he starts yelling at her that it is not working for him. She tells him that she quits and leaves. Adam heads inside to sleep, but he slips and falls down. Jerry comes running and helps him back up on the bed. Adam starts crying, mentioning that he will never walk again. Jerry tears up as well, and they end up crying themselves to sleep. A few days later, Adam goes to the lake house where his life changed. He heads to the spot where he jumped off and starts crying. As he starts thinking about his life before the accident, he feels the rage he felt when he broke the window back when he was a kid and starts screaming. This opens his mind, and later that day, Adam sits down with his mom and thanks her for taking care of him all this time. He says that big changes are coming and soon we see that the family has decided to renovate their home to fit Adam's needs. The next day, Adam goes to nurture care to find Yevgenia and apologizes to her. He says that he has decided to be independent and asks her to come back. She is happy to see him and agrees. Adam restarts his life again, trying to do everything himself and even keeps on his routine to work out. Then one random day Mickey comes to visit him. He asks Adam why he hasn't been returning his calls. Adam tells him that he did not know what to tell him, and even if he goes back to work, he doesn't think that he can do what he did before. Mickey refuses Adam by telling him that he plays a much bigger role in impacting the lives of the people back in the office. Mickey also lets him know that even though
though the promotion is out of the picture now, a spot is still open for Adam and he can come back when he feels ready. As Mickey leaves, Adam thanks him for coming by to meet him. That night, Adam gets a visitor. He goes out to see that it is Christine. Yevgenia realizes who she is and decides to leave them alone. Christine asks for his forgiveness, but Adam lets her know that he hated her for a long time. But if this had happened to her, he wouldn't have stuck around either. Hearing this, Christine comes forward to take his hand, and later we find Adam lost in thought in the bathroom. He comes out to find Christine all prepped up for him on the bed. He lets her know that she can take command, and that is what she does. They enjoy a passionate night. In the morning, when Christine leaves, Adam tells her that it is not going to work. He tells her that being with a quadriplegic does not make her a better person. Realizing the meaning behind the words, they apologize to each other, and she leaves. Adam finally decides to take on Mickey's offer and decides to start working again. Mickey lets him know that he is late, and as Adam gets back to his cubicle, a lady from the office greets him with a bright smile. Happy to be back in the field, Adam starts working again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you again with another story like this. And until then, this is your host from Movie Movie Recap signing off.